Yeah, that, that's possible. That is cool. I think it's beautiful. No, I'm right. <laughs> I like this one, right? So, so what, what did you do? So I took different brands and the different devices that they manufactured. So Apple Watch, Google Watch, Microsoft Watch. Okay, good. So just so walk me through your, your work process here. And walk me through all the different things that you've done. Well, I couldn't really figure out what I was going to do. Um, and then I was at my internship and saw my small I was like, oh, I should just break apart the different brands. Yes, they all do the same thing. So walk me through, though, your object model. What are your objects? What are your key titlers? Like these here, right? These are the show. These are the sixteen titlers you built, right? Right. Okay. So let's look at each. One. Let's look at one of them too. Okay. So what are the components of this titler? Uh, two tags. Oh, well, let's edit it. Uh, actually, before you do that, I take it back, close that, and do the get info. Do get info on this tip, okay. which is the pull down menu and info. Okay, so what do we know about this tip? This is everything we know about this object called a tip. Okay, what's its, um, these are the fields. So what's the title of this tip? Apple Watch, written as a wiki word. Okay, what are the tags? Apple and watch. So that's actually the list of words or tags. When was it modified last? February. At whatever time. 1929, 47, 310. Some nanosecond. You're saving. Let's edit it. Edit it and um, modify it by put, put a space in the text field. Yeah, and now save it. And now get info or info. And so it was modified today, then, and it was just created on the 8th. Okay. Can you change the creation date? Probably. Probably. I don't know. You can. You can. I don't know how to do it. Yeah, there's a way to do it. Okay. And it's got a field called image URL. Right? How to get that field? Okay. <laughs> you put it in there, right? Okay. What else do we know about it? Let's click on tools. So those are the tools that are shown of this tiddler, but I don't know if they're shown on all tiddlers like it or not. But let's put info out there. Click on info, and it's going to show up there. Okay. And um, click on clone, because maybe you want to clone things every once in a while, and maybe you want to make a permalink to it without clicking on tools. Okay. And now um, let's go click on references. And so this tool references, this tiddler references tiddly tables. I don't know what that means. Good question to ask. I don't know how to use it. To be honest, I really don't. But I think you can you could you could transclude it. You want to say show me all the tools that this tiddler references. So that might be a question to ask. Click on tagging. Uh, and that no tiddlers are tagged with this one. Why is that? Just so didn't make any new tiddlers from that. From like when you were coding. We'll do a new here. Um, no, 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 okay, so that's okay. So what would you call it? What assignment is this? Tiddly tables. Maybe I could call it tiddly tables exercise. Sure. Save it. And um, ooh. We're working in this Dropbox, so you're not this. No, oh, this isn't fine. That's fine. Okay. It doesn't matter. Okay. So now do the info on Apple Watch, and now it tells you it's tagged. Okay, cool. And then list 
this tiddler doesn't have a list. Um, lists I haven't really introduced yet. They're sort of out there, but you might find lists helpful for some stuff you're doing type lines. Okay, and listed will tell you if this tiddler is listed on somebody else's list. Okay, and fields we've looked at and advanced um, tells you whether it's a shadow tiddler or not. Shadow tiddlers are the things with code. Okay, and I haven't worked with shadow tiddlers yet. But there's a lot that you know about a tiddler. There's a lot that you know about an object. Now, if you edit this tiddler, um, you created this field image URL. Yeah. And then you, okay. And so it's right here as well, right? Yeah. Okay. So <coughs> inside, you get rid of this code. In fact, copy, whoops, yeah. undo. Yeah, let's copy the whole thing and make two copies of, you know, make enough that I hate to like mess with some. Copy the all the code, Apple A. What do you want to make? Yeah. And then paste it right. Yeah. Yeah, and then just paste it below. Yeah, so we have two of them. Okay. And then get rid of this this URL there. And get rid of that and transclude this field. Okay, so inside those, what you do? Yeah, inside those brackets, put the curly braces, and then two exclamation, two curly braces, two exclamation points for this, and then the name of the field, ing URL, and close it with two braces. Uh -huh. Okay, doesn't quite work. Okay, but it should. Um, oh, I know. Image width equals 80. Yeah, I don't see that work. You still have to close it with two tags. Um, yeah, I haven't gotten that to work. But in the next place, I am getting it to work. So stop that. I'll show you how the transclude stuff like that. But in the meantime, you're doing fine here. So um, close this tiddler. Yeah. And tell me, what can you do? Go to, go to Apple Watch and close all the rest of them. Uh, yeah, you can just hit. And what can you do from here? So if you're a reader, what can you read? Not a writer, but if you're going to be a reader, what can you do? As a writer, did you provide any links for your readers here? So what's a link from a reader? Think of it. What's a link from a, from a reading perspective? an invitation to go someplace. Can you go anywhere from here? Just within the tip. Well, you can go to Apple. Yeah, so in fact, you can go, go, go back here. You can go to Apple Glasses, Phones, Tablet, or Watch. Can you go anywhere from here? You can go to Watch, Apple Watch, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine links that you built. Okay. So we click off of that. So as a writer, I like this little water. <laughs> as a writer, you tagged. But as a reader, you're enab you enabled links. So the act of writing enabled links for your readers. Okay, so the can readers tag here? That's a different thing altogether, right? But writers can follow links, or readers can follow links. Um, so can you click on that picture? No. Okay. Um, so go to go someplace within your tiddlers, just using your links. Now, as a reader, is that how you'd expect Tiddly Wiki to act? Or do you like that when you go from Apple Watch to Apple Tablet? Aims that way, the, the kids and wiki behaves that way, reveals itself that way? Or is there alternatives for you as a writer? So click here on the control panel and do appearance. Oh, I'm sorry, you were right, info. And scroll down. And oops, 
So those are things that you can change, right? You can change these if you want. You can change your default tiddlers and, and scroll up. That's still not quite what I'm looking for. So maybe it's on advanced. Um, no, that's something different. Okay, maybe it's on appearance or settings. Settings. There we go. That's pretty cool. Um, Tiddler opening behavior is what I'm after. Keep going. Okay, so how do you want the, tip, the navigation to happen from within the story room? What's the story room? The story room versus on. It's the, the, this is the tiddlers of the story room. This is outside the story room. Okay, so within the story room, what do you want to have happen? So change it to open up. So you can do that, right? The top of the story river, above the current tiddler, or at the top. So that's a choice that you make as a designer. Um, and then from outside, where you want it to go, to the top or whatever. So you can play with that. Um, if you want to, if you want to create sort of permalinks all the time. Okay, so then whenever you, whatever you have open will rewrite itself up here in this URL. So you can go and open a bunch of titlers and then order them, copy that link, and send it to someone. Here's like my wiki with my titlers open. This is my story. And if you change your design so that you can't tell the difference between titlers, your readers are gonna, this is kind of like seeing a web page, right, with multiple titlers. So that's sort of out there. So anyway, so, so okay, we've got that, so close this. And let's go back home again. You don't even have to close anything, you just go home. Um, and we're on Apple Watch, so you can click on that, right? That's not clickable. So next time you make that clickable, by the way, make those pictures click on I'm gonna show you. Um, so look at that, close others, and navigate, and see if you like this navigation style better. That's not, that's kind of cool. I like it. I like it. Yeah, I, it's something that just likes things to think about. Um, those are, those are nicely done. And the logic, did you export the tiddlers with CSD and JSON? And I started them? putting the links in, but then I messed it up. So you put the links in by hand. So I did it by hand. Which is perfectly fine. Okay. So, um, so in order to do what you were just talking about, I'm going to show you with Cassandra's example. So stop sharing your screen and open Cassandra's screen. <clears throat> and um, go to design rate. Right? And do the um, announcing pop-up tag. So this is a whole new thing. This is my first time to see if I can distribute software, and you can follow along on your own. I think you've done this. Okay, so if you want to do the same thing, follow at the same time. Okay. Um, so you go to the thing, you do how to get used to pop up tagger tool. Hopefully, you click on that. Hopefully, it works. And um, says how to do it. Implementation make a copy of this week and begin writing in your own copy. So you're in. You're in Firefox here, right? No, that's different. Okay, it doesn't have, so files, same page as. Um, where's your menu bar in Chrome? I don't know. You do, there's like a way to turn on menu bar preferences or tools or something, the hamburger maybe. <laughs> Over here, this thing is called the hamburger. Um, turn on, um, I think it's alt if you press alt. Alt. I hate that they've hidden the toolbar. Like, I'm going to just copy this. Are you trying to get me to copy this to so my No, I'm trying to get you to um, file, save, page ads. <laughs> I don't know. I need, there's a menu bar up here. In. Okay. Everybody, people turn off their menu bars and you can't like. It's called a menu bar. I guess. 
Oh, there it is. Try save page. That might work. Yeah, save page as complete, and then go back to the instructions. It says they copy this to the Wikipedia. Yeah, so oh, so it's this one that has to set web page HTML on the yeah, and call it something that you're going to use. What is this going to be? What exercise you work? Recording photos, photo, photo thing, whatever you want to call it. And try not to put a space in your file name. So a hyphen works. Just good practice. Yeah, there you go. Save it. And then um, you get ready with your own copy. So open it now. Firefox. Mm -hmm. File open. How do you edit? Uh, I, yeah. Where's your did somebody know about where the menu bar is in Firefox? How do you get it? Um, I just did it here. How did I do it? Um, oh. Exit full screen. I've got in my Firefox like the menu bar. Yes, you. How do you open a file? How do you always open a file? Are you ready to do? Hey, you might be in your options. How do you open files? Yeah. Control. Oh, then just go to go to your desktop, I guess, and open the file. You open a file whenever you edit your wiki in this class. Yeah. Here, open file, drag it in. <laughs> well, that's mine or yours? Oh, you stopped sharing your screen? No. Okay. I'm not going to go. Okay. So something like that. Um, and you want to do file open. Go to your desktop, go to the files below. There, importing photos. Right click on that. Open with Firefox. Yes, okay. So you want to enable. Now, this is not your Dropbox, so you've not shared it on what you create. Okay, so this is a tool that I've distributed that you can use. Um, and you can read about the concepts of parent tags and child tags. Um, so you can click on that. Click on parent tags and child tags. And um, so rather than create a whole lecture about it, I just gave you a set of links. So click on links. And what do you think parent tags and child tags are? You should just be able to scan those sort of quickly. So I guess in my case, parent would be when child would be all the sub products. So Apple Watch was a child of Apple. Apple Watch is a child of watch. Okay, so you, so children have two parents in your case. Um, so we'll go back to your wiki. You can read about parent tags and child tags on your own. Um, you're on, what you're on, that's your regular one. You're over here. Wiki you just made, is that the one? Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so if you go up, you're on the implementation now. And um, where are you? So you made a copy. So let's look at the demo object. Two cows standing in the sun. Okay, so what do we know about this tiddler? So look at the info. 
So we, it's got a caption, right? It's got values in the field named caption. The caption has special power. It's magic. Not really. It's just used in code. And it will display when you ask for a list of links. The caption of a tidbit will display in the list of links if it has one. Otherwise, the title will display. That's interesting, right? So you can begin to think, oh, I see. Okay. Um, now when it was created, it's got an embed code in there. Okay, I copied and pasted that embed code from Flickr. There's an embed, do paste. Um, notice that Flickr embed code, look at that closely, it's got the title, it's got a title in and of itself, right? But that's the title on Flickr, not the title on TiddlyWeek. How can I get that title to be, to be able to work with that title in TiddlyWeek? I don't know, I'd have to write a little tool to parse that code. Okay, if I was interested, which is beyond my interest at the moment. But if you wanted to, you could write a small piece of code. Hagar, in our group, could write a small piece of code to extract the title into a Tiddly field. And if you asked him, he'd do it like that. That's the cool thing about working in an open source community. There are, you know, say, hey, how do I do this? And so I don't know, but it's a cool thing to figure out. So here's how you do it. And write a little piece of code for you. So you can ask that. So you've got that. It's got a source. It's got all sorts of stuff. Or you can just ignore it. Okay. And then it's got a modified date, tag. The way that um, I'm going to show you how these tags get built, because what this wiki does is allows you to tag photos sort of on the fly without having to edit the title. Then it's got a title that I titled. Okay, so um, close that. Close the tip. Yeah. And um, I'm sorry. Yeah, go back to it. I, yeah, I, I meant stop that. And let's, this thing is the innovation, this gray bar, that's the pop-up tag. That's the piece of code that's put in that thing. Okay. So click on fresh tags. And it's already tagged the barnyard and cow, but let's add something else too. So click new tag. And it, careful. this is weird, I didn't build it. Just have to experiment with it. Click on the middle edit icon to the right there. And now let's edit this. So what else can you say about that picture that you can't see? Tell me, go scroll down. Let's look at the picture. How does it make you feel? Uh, anyway, brown, that's fine. And when you're doing this, you do have to be cognizant as a writer that you don't um, use a week a title of a Hitler that you've used before, right? Because if you do it, I don't know, you may able to write it or may ask you. I should know that. Okay, so save it. And you can even close it because we don't care. It's over now. You can close this until we get back to our cows if you want to start closing things. And I do that all the time. I move these things. Okay, and now let's add fresh tags, and we can tag it to brand. Okay, look at activity. Let's put them to sleep. So tag them to sleeping, and let's take off standing, so untag it, and okay. So that's kind of cool. And how do you create new tags like fresh tags and activity? Okay, so go up to the implementation and create a few objects from embedded tithers. That would be next using the new journal tool that's right here. Okay, go to Flickr. Yes, you do. Go to Flickr. F L I C K R dot C O N. We couldn't take it away from you if we wanted to. Search for um, Brown 
our channels. Um, pick your favorite. Get the embed code. Share, sorry. Some of them allow embed, some don't. So click in your lobby, click embed. Let's make it not large, but medium. That's pretty big. That's pretty big. Small, maybe. That's nice. Copy the embed code. Go back to your wiki. Yep, I know it's going. Okay, cool. Paste the field value here and give it a field name of embed, E M B E D, which is right there. We don't even have to type it. And um, I suggest you overwrite object description with, yeah, and this is a timestamp so that if you use the same word to describe brown cows, go ahead and call it brown cows. whatever you want. You'd have lots of brown cows of different types. So you can, that's a way of reusing them in there. And so save this. Okay, let's tag it. So what's it doing? Yeah, you can do fresh tags, but I'm fresh. It's um, brown, it's cow. <clears throat> what's it doing under activity? Yeah, okay, so that's cool. And now click on standing. You notice, oh, there's only, oh, oh, go to cow. You should have options under cow. Yeah, pick one of your, okay. There you go. And now you can navigate amongst your photos on your tags. Okay, that's pretty cool. So if you wanted to go back to the pop up tagger implementation and Create a few objects, add a bed field, add a caption field. Ooh, go back and add a caption field. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Give the caption. This is what you, this is right. I love the fields. I think that's what the caption should be. Whatever, no, something else, whatever you want to write. You can write, this is the caption of my brown cow's picture, and then when you see it show up, you'll know it's the caption. And add it. Okay. And save that. Okay. Click on brown. Go to brown. There's nothing in brown. What do you want in brown? When you go to brown, what do you think you want to see as a reader? Hmm? You want to see what you want to see. What do you want to, as a writer, what do you want to allow readers to do when they get here? How about be able to navigate to all the Tiddler's type of brown? Do you ever do that? Okay, so do you have the squisher? The, um, you know, make your screen in half? Yeah, so, so separate the window, yeah, and you put design right over on the left side. You should have it open as a tag somewhere, okay. There you go. Okay, and search for, and you can close all the tiddlers and open the menu in design right. Yeah, the menu, that's the, the menu button. And search for, yeah. Search for Tagly, T-A-G-G-L-Y. Okay, and don't open it. And drag from here to there. Yeah. Okay, and import it. And edit Tagly. And edit Tagly. And what Tagly does is anytime you call it, a little macro, anytime you call it, you can write these macros yourself. Anytime you call it inside of double angle brackets, 
it's going to put this piece of code in. What's that piece of code do? It lists all the links that match that filter. Okay, filters are kind of an important thing, right? To write filters. You want to make it so that your readers can see links to fiddlers that are tagged to the title of this tiddler. In your case, it's brown. So it replaces the word title with the value of title. You could put caption in there or whatever you wanted to. So, so you've got that command now. So close that, exit out, exit out of that, yeah. And um, go back and keep posting some tiddlers so we're, we want to get back to brown. And edit brown and put the tagly command in there with double angle brackets. Those are slashes. Angle brackets are um, um, shift comma maybe. Shift. There you go. Double angle brackets. And the word tag me, T A G G L Y. And close it with angle brackets. And what it's going to do is list all the tiddlers that are tagged with graph. How come you can't see it in the preview? Because the current tiddler is drafted brand. <laughs> For the minute. So save it, have to save it as an order. And um, there's all the, the captions of the tiddlers. So that's what, so now if you click there, it will take you to that tiddler. Okay. And we are working, as you'll see, they're beginning to develop some, um, go back to design rate. And um, Click on experimental. Design right experimental, sorry. Um, and there's some funky stuff happening. Actually, it's, it's moved out of experimental, it's in playground. So scroll up and look for design right playground, which should be weekly playground. Um, right here, it should be weekly playground. How would you know that? It's, you wouldn't know it's there. Um, and click on messing with list macros. And what I'm beginning to play with here is the idea of here's a list of, right, it's the same filter every time, but here instead of saying list links, it's list texts, and it's listing the values of the tiddlers, and they're clickable. You can click on that blue dash. And that's kind of cool. So you might like that, where you're not seeing text, you're clicking on pictures to like, that. that's cool. So, so scroll down, and so we're doing the text, Here's the title. This forces the title so it ignores the captions. I'm sorry, this links gives you the caption, the title is not present. This is the one that comes with typically the address I just wrote. And scroll down, this gets rid of title, title, scroll down, this gets the title, and this gets the embed. So what this does is list the embedded values. That's really what you want. Instead of so you don't have to put the picture in the tidbit, put something else there. So you begin to think about these as opportunities for your readers to see different things. Um, I don't like the fact that it's in a list and it's got bullets, but that's something that you can change. And I'll play with you. So do you, but do you see the concept of what you're working with here? So it starts with having a bunch of tiddlers, 16, whatever, tagged, and then you want to create a navigational structure to let people move within this. Um, and so, it's kind of annoying that it, it takes a little bit to get there, like the three weeks that you just endured. But now you're sort of ready to like, because you have a foundational knowledge of how these things work, and now you're sort of ready to build something. Um, so, you, so does that help you with that exercise? If it doesn't fit into an exercise, it doesn't matter. Just do it. You know, it's just, and the, this is the first time that you've created a new week, so you're starting with a fresh week. All that old stuff is gone. And it gives you continuously go through. You have to drag, like if you've written any macros or you've changed things, you have to drag them into your view. Um, look at this map and edit this tiddler. And you'll see, um, oh, I'm sorry, close that. Wrong one. Um, click on this one. See, this is what you could drag into your week. So click on that and now edit that. And there's a little bit of code 
But you can look at this and see that you can edit that code pretty easily. So I here's captions, the word caption, embeds and the word embed, title and the word title. And it might not work exactly right, then you can go back and mess with it. And it will tell you, oh, class, dollar sign class, where's the class type? Here. So there's some something in here is telling it to go to a certain CSS page. You could probably debug that if you did that. You write CSS or a little. a little. So you can play with that. If you write some CSS, you, you're, you're doing CSS, you do HTML5 stuff. Uh, a bit. Okay. So that's where the CSS is in there. Okay. The last thing I want to show you, go back here. And um, I got one minute. Um, can you make this full screen again? And we're not going to get to yours. We can get to yours one day. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So make, make your... Yeah. And um, modify the tagged objects template as desired. Click tagged objects and edit this. Now notice that this is tagged to a template, okay? Um, so any tiddler that's tagged, tagged objects is going to come through this tiddler, come through this template. And any tiddler that's tagged, tagged objects is going to display the caption, followed by a break, new line, and then dis display the value of embed and then display the value of image look. Image look is one of these undocumented features. If you don't have an embed, you can put the full image tag inside of image look. It's the you know, image SRC equals quote, close quote. Is the, you can, um, I'll show you how to do that. Go to your, go to Google Images and search, on, search for brown cows. A minute and do search tools and more. Uh, where's usage rights? Can you go to images. Where they are? Oh, go to images. Sorry, yeah. Search tools, usage rights, labeled non commercial reuse with modification. I like this one. Like that. View image, get the URL, copy, go to your, go to yours. Um, I think it's this one. I think it's that one, yeah. That's the Dropbox version. It looks like a trick. I uh, lost your Firefox version. That's it. Yep. And come down here and um, here, close this. Do a new journal. Paste it here. And close it with an angle bracket. Um, a quote angle bracket, sorry. Quote angle bracket. You need a quote in front of the angle bracket. And then angle bracket. You go to the beginning, which is go to the very beginning of that. All the way. So keep going. There we go. Open with an angle bracket. Then ING space SRC equals quote. And then type ING at LOC there. Doesn't quite work in mine. Go ahead. LOC. Uh, yeah, you know, those are supposed to be double quotes, not single quotes. They at least have to be the same. And rename it. Well, rename your object. That's fine. It doesn't matter. Save it. It's good enough. You have to save it. It works. It does. You never know. So that's a way of getting an image or an embed. Thank you. So stop it.